confidence isn't, I hope they like me. Confidence is, I will be fine if they don't. Yeah. Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we are filming a highly requested video. Yes. When I say highly requested, I mean someone suggested it and then everyone else saw the suggestion and it was like, yes, do that video. So today we are talking all about confidence and self-esteem. This video could easily be made into multiple videos. Like a 10 part series. <laughs> so we are going to do our best to cover it, but there might be in the like near slash far future a time we cover this topic again. Yes. I feel like it's just so much goes into being confident, having good self-esteem, loving yourself. Um, but first and foremost, I want to say Maddie and I are sisters. Yes. We were raised by the same two people, but I feel like this is really fun to have her and I doing this video <laughs> together because we could not have grown up on more opposite ends of the spectrum. Maddie, something I have always, always admired about her is she does not care what other people think. Like she is just 100% who she is. She's always had all the confidence in the world. She's like, I'm just going to be who I am and if they don't like me, it's okay because I know who I am. Me on the other hand, I was like worried about every little thing. Like, what is that person thinking about me right this second? Like, I was the least confident person ever. And I look back on things that made me sad and like caused me so much heartache when I was younger. And it hurts me so bad because it was just all because of a lack of confidence and self-esteem. And I had, I had a terrible body image. I had terrible body issues. I don't know. I feel like it'll be fun for you guys to hear from both of us because we were so different. But going off of that, when she says like I grew up confident, I don't want you guys to think that I thought I was like the coolest thing in the world or whatever. Like I am still a human. I'm still a female. There were still times every day in high school or still to this day when I'm at the gym, I look at other girls and I'm like, oh, really wish I looked like you right now. Like I'm still, <laughs> like I'm still a female. Like everybody has those thoughts. Yeah. Every single person like, Oh, I want her hair, or I want her eye color, or I want her body, or what, you know what I mean? Like you, and you always want what you can't have. Mm -hmm. It's just, you have straight hair, I wish I had straight hair. Oh, you have curly hair, I wish I had curly hair. Like, yeah. you always want something that you don't have. So I was, I guess to a fault, I didn't care what people think of me. I look back at high school, and I, even some pictures, you guys, I look at pictures of me in the cafeteria, with like my hood on and it tied so tight. Cinched all And I remember like running around, like I was probably just the weirdo in school. <laughs> like it was, a, it was probably to a fault that I didn't care what no. people thought of me. No, not at all. I, <laughs> like honestly, people have, I have never met one person that doesn't like you. I'm sure there's people out there. No, you like guys, you. that's what's so awesome. I feel like Maddie had like confidence mastered. She was never cocky. She never thought she was better than anyone. Her whole mindset was just, I know who I am, I'm comfortable with who I am, and there you go. You know what I mean? Don't you agree? Yeah. So do you have tips on how to be like that? A lot of it was, I don't know, I know a lot of it was I looked at a girl and I was like, oh, I wish I looked like you, but then someone was like, ice cream and cookies, and I'm like, I'm coming. So, <laughs> well, I think, I think you could like compliment other females oh, and yeah. be like, she is gorgeous but you never let it take anything away from you. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you would notice and you'd be like, holy crap, she is beautiful. But you were never like, oh man, and then I'm I not let, as pretty as she is. And then I let people know and then people start questioning my sexuality. But <laughs> don't worry, you guys. No, I think it's awesome. Maddie and I are both actually really good at that, where we can look at other girls and we're like, holy crap, she is gorgeous. Um, funny story, I won't tell you like all the details, but my now sister-in-law, who at the time was not my sister-in-law, Matt and Aubrey were in high school, and me and Kenzie and Shelby were helping Aubrey get ready for a school dance, and she had to change her clothes. We had so to put her, her prom dress on. Her hair was all done, and Aubrey is a tiny human, and she's so gorgeous to look at. You guys have seen her. So her hair is all done, she's in these high heels, and she takes her sweats off, and when we go to, so she's literally standing there. <laughs> I love that you're telling her this story. Her bra underwear, you guys, and I'm not like being weird or anything, and we're just helping her slide her dress on. But you have to know this 
She was stunning. She weighed maybe a hundred pounds flat. She didn't stop talking about her body her, for months. She looked like a freaking Victoria's Secret angel. Like her hair was beautiful, these high heels and her brown under. I'm like, you could be on the cover of, you could be the wallpaper of Victoria's Secret right now. And I she walked is, out beautiful. and I looked at Matt and I said, if you don't marry her, you're an idiot. <laughs> like you need to marry her. And then I got questioned for multiple months. No, but that's what I love but, about you. Is because like I feel like I feel like there's so many girls and admittedly I've totally been there where they feel like if they compliment another girl they're somehow taking away something from themselves. Yeah. I know so many girls like that and it breaks my heart because I know that it just boils down to they do not love themselves. They are not happy with who they are and it makes me so sad. Now that we know Maddie is like this confident bombshell, I want to tell you guys some like how I have corrected this for myself because Maddie can attest, least confident person. I cried myself to sleep almost every night growing up from like third grade until I married Cody. Like sophomore year, of her sophomore year of high school was my, bad. My dad went in because she would just wear a sweatshirt to school every day. And she had cute clothes, but she'd only wear a sweatshirt. Well, and I had a cute body. I look yes. back like, why did I think yes. I had this gross body? I did that all the time about myself. But my dad went in one night and took all her sweatshirts away. And she threw a fit, like wouldn't go to school. And my dad, but my dad didn't do it to be like me. He did it because he knew she was beautiful. He knew she had cute clothes to her and he was trying to help her. Yeah, so that just gives you a little glimpse how like insecure I was that I did Middle of summer, I was wearing big hoodies to try to hide my body, which is Ridiculous. crazy because I really did. I had a beautiful body and I can say that now because I'm going to tell you why I can say that. I battled with this like low self-esteem, low confidence, insecurity. My, the first shoot eight, almost eight years that Cody and I were together. And it makes me sad because he had to deal with me and my breakdowns because I was like emotionally broken inside. So when I was pregnant with McKinley, I think I've mentioned this a few times, when I found out she was a girl, I vowed to myself that I was, go I was never going to let her one day feel how I felt my whole life growing up. And I knew the only way I could teach her to love herself and to love her body and to love her personality and to love everything about herself was to love myself that way. And so ask Cody, it was hard. Hard. We went through a few challenges in our marriage that made it even harder, but I just, I vowed to myself, I was like, no, this is insane. So it actually got kind of spiritual for me because I don't know what you guys believe and whatever you believe, that's great, but I believe in a Heavenly Father and I believe that Heavenly Father created me and He designed me and He built this body for me and this vessel that I was able to grow five incredible humans in. And it is so selfish and so rude not to appreciate that. So it took a long time, you guys, but I had to like look deep in my soul, deep in my heart. I had to do daily affirmations in the mirror every single morning. I had to look myself in the eyes and say, you are beautiful. You are worth it. Like I had to say these things until I was like believing what I was saying. And I was just telling you, it was a long process. It was a grueling process. And I definitely want to do more things more in depth on how to love yourself. Yeah. But I told Maddie just a few weeks ago, I was showering and um, I had five babies. So my tummy is saggy and covered in stretch marks and um, a little round. <laughs> so I was showering and cute Kinley, my little two year old daughter, she came up and you know how cute and innocent kids are. She grabbed my stomach and she's like, mom, your belly. And I wholeheartedly could look at her and say, I love my belly. And in return, because I said that, she grabbed her cute little belly and she said, me love my belly too. <laughs> and so it actually turned into a super cute learning moment because I sat there and I told her, did you know that you grew inside mommy's tummy? Like you used to live in there. And I told her how all four of her brothers did and just how awesome and strong and amazing our stomachs are. I know it's kind of a weird thing to just sit and talk about how awesome your stomach is, but our stomachs are incredible. Yes. And they do not deserve us to hate on them or to talk down about them or anything. So I don't know you guys, hopefully I can do something in the future to teach you how to love yourself a little bit more. But those are some of the things I've done because I can tell you right now, no matter who you are, you're amazing. Yes. Like, yes, you may have faults. Every single human on Every this planet person has, has faults. faults. Like 
a list of faults, mm -hmm. but you are amazing and you are beautiful. And even though some people may not like you for exactly who you are, because there's people who do not like us, you will, if you are genuinely who you are and confident about it, you will find the people who like you. It's so easy to kind of watch our videos or look at our Instagrams and be like, oh, they're like, they seem like confident people. Like, look at them. They're always smiling behind a the camera. They're always laughing, you know? And yes, like, we have so much fun together, but there's, I don't know. You guys should know this right now. There's so much more that goes on behind the camera. Like, well, and there's nerves and there's yes. worried about what we look like and worried about if people are going to think this about us. Like, yes. we still get those thoughts, even though I consider us both confident people. We still have those thoughts, just like oh, yeah. everyone else. Oh, yeah. They're still like, because when I sit here and I film, I feel like I'm just hanging out with my sister. Like, yeah. I'm just talking to my sister. Yeah. yeah. We're having a conversation and we're letting you guys, like, in on the conversation yes. with us, you know? Like, I'm sure if we had all our subscribers sitting and I was like talking on a stage, I would be a very different than I am right <laughs> at the moment. Like, ah, I don't remember what I was going to say. But just something I heard once, especially like going to the gym. The gym is such a hard place to go to, I think. And it's a place people always strive to go to, but then you walk in and it's so easy to feel so out of place or so uncomfortable. But so. And I'm gonna like slaughter, slaughter this, so if you know what I'm trying to say, help me. Okay. But I remember someone telling me once, like, I don't know, as a female, I always think like, oh, they're looking at me. Like, everyone is staring at me. Or like, I look like an idiot, like, doing this yoga pose. Everyone's looking at me. Everyone feels that same way. No one is looking at you. And, and if they are, cares. it's because they're not happy with who they are. Yes. Like, plain and simple, black and white, that's just the yes. fact of the matter. Well, my mom always told me, it, or Shelby, actually, Shelby always said if someone was talking behind her back or someone was talking about her, she always came back with... Like, oh, well, at least they like me enough to talk about me. Like, she didn't even, right? Like, she didn't even care if, like, someone was, like, talking bad about her. She was like, well, they must like me enough to talk about me. And it's, like, true. Yeah. Right? If you're going to take the time to sit and, like, talk bad about someone, there's obviously... There's a reason why. There's a reason you're doing You're spending your time on them. I don't yes. know. Um, yeah, totally. But I feel, like we said, this video could go on forever, you guys. Um, we were... Just thinking about things you could do. Like Kenzie said, I think we should do a self-love video. Just sit down and think about how incredible you guys are. Or Make a list of yes. everything you're good at. Everything you do like about yourself. And it may not be very big. If I made that list 15 years ago, there would be nothing on it. And that breaks my heart to say it's almost going to make me cry, so I'm not going to talk about it. But there would be nothing on that list. Like You have to get honest with yourself and you have to think about all the incredible things about you. Yep. Know? and especially like us being on a mom channel you guys like Kenzie said you're like your moms or you're trying to become moms or your role models to your nieces nephews grandkids whatever it is like people watch you mm -hmm. and whether you know it or not like you're an example yes and you lead by example like Kenzie grabbing her stomach and saying how much she loved it and Kinley doing that how easy would it have been for Kenzie to say, no, don't look at it, it's not cute yeah, right or like, now? Ew, yeah, or I hate my stomach, or yeah, something little. I promise you, that's how my daughter would start thinking exactly. about her own body. Exactly. So yeah, just make sure you're being a good example. And um, I heard actually a little quote that I think sums it up perfectly. I've kind of fallen in love with the Modest Shop and Movement podcast. And he did an episode on confidence. It's super short and sweet, and I recommend you guys go listen to it. But he said, confidence isn't, I hope they like me. Confidence is, I will be fine if they don't. Yeah. That is Madison, you guys. Like, know who you are, love who you are, own it, and then be okay if you're not everybody's favorite person. So yes. that's what we've got for you guys today. We hope that you took at least one little helpful tidbit away. But we love you guys, and we will definitely be doing more parts to yes. this series, I think. Definitely something on how to love yourself, because that's so, so important. But like always, like we always say, if you have anything that you want to add to this video, or anything you want us to like expand on, or along this topic, comment it down below. Please message us on Instagram if it's private. But yes. we love you guys so much, and we hope you have an awesome week. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.
My foot's asleep. Should we share the Aubrey story? Do people think I'm weird? No.